Hello City, this is Glenn Campbell. So glad that um, we have this moment for me to share some incredible things about the future of what God has for me and what the future lies ahead for you as City God First in Joburg. Over about 10 months, there's been a, a movement of God stirring in my heart about a next thing. And I didn't know what that next thing was, so I continued to pray and seek the Lord. And through, through many months of seeking Him and listening, um, He has actually unfolded to, him, to me what the next step is. And the next step for me is to plant a church back in my own country, and specifically Atlanta, Georgia. And the exciting part of that is that that is taking me full circle with people that I started pouring into 28 years ago, um, have now raised up and they're excited about starting a church for their kids who are now teenagers in high school. So it's a bittersweet thing for, for me and for my wife, Marianne, to, to one, excited to go back, excited to start something, but it's very, very mixed emotions and sad to say that we are going in this season at jo in Joburg is, is now coming to an end. But the future is so incredibly bright for this church because it's so healthy and the fruit of simple church, three environments, five steps is flourishing. And the team that I have assembled and developed and built into and that we have collectively put our, put our work and, 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 and scrummed it together in terms of our complements of gifts and skill set are now going to take this. And they're not only going to take it forward, they're going to take it to the next level. They are not going to do anything different. They're going to still do this model of church, keep that framework, but they're going to take it to the next level. And through a process of about a month and a half of, of men um, giving us their vision um, inside the church, four men who have been partnering with me, all very capable, all can lead a church and one day will lead their own churches, are collectively going to be leading this church. We were looking for the one gold nugget, but also um, but we, we saw that God was showing us that it wasn't just about one person, it was about the team. And so as we look forward, the gold mine that God was showing us was this team of four men, of which Simon Hodgson will be leading and captaining those other three men, which are Duncan Early, Vaughn Harvey, and James Nell. And it's a incredibly exciting what their visions are and how their gifts complement one another and how they are going to take this church and move it forward and take it to the next level. So what's my role going forward in city? Well, my role going forward in city is actually more in a, in a, a form of being a consultant. Um, you know, a consultant is somebody that you call and ask. A consultant does not knock on the door and invite himself in. So I'm going to be available as a, as a fatherly mentor and consultant to any one of those four guys when they need, not only here now, but also when we go back. And when we go back in about seven weeks, which is kind of mid-October, so that we can get started, we're very, very excited about this global partnership that we are going to be having together. When I share with people in Atlanta, Georgia, that our church in Johannesburg, South Africa, is helping to start this church in prayer and finances and resources, they went crazy. And why did they go crazy? Because they went, oh my, oh my goodness, God is, Africa is planning a church here in America. And that partnership and that, that connected global church um, friendship will continue to go forward 
into the future. We're very committed to then pouring resources back here into South Africa and actually sharing um, leadership exchanges and the sky is the limit. So we're incredibly excited about what God has for us, for Marion and I, and what God has for you moving forward and for this new church start of which you have helped to get it going. So with great love, as a pastor, as somebody who never thought about leading a church in South Africa, this season is coming to an end. And I want, to, I want you to know the privilege and the honor it has been for me to partner with you. I'm so excited about what God has done among us and what he will do going forward. May God bless you and keep you. Love you.